Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. I am Royal Mix Gaming and in today's video I'm going to show you our actual KVK opponents in 2293 because Liv kind of lied to me and to the rest of this kingdom because they basically put a placeholder in where the Heroic Anthem people, like all these different kingdoms are for the opponent found. Like I've shown you the other day on my video, these four kingdoms, well these three kingdoms were different. There was actually five kingdoms here. There was like 2307, 2303, my old kingdom with my restart here was in this KVK. Well, we found out that they actually had not even registered, so Liv had just kind of put them as a placeholder until they actually figured out their stuff. Which you would think after like three days of matchmaking they would have been able to do it, but you know, they've done this kind of stuff before where they put placeholders and things like that. Because I know, I remember when there was a Leo MG like a year or two ago, I don't remember when he first came out, um, there was where they changed Leo last minute to somebody else, or they changed it right to Leo with an NG, and it kind of messed up some things because people had already trained for it, but then it was like, well, they swapped the image of who the actual character was going to be, the legendary commander that you could actually get. I do remember they'd done that kind of stuff before, but I'm sure they've done similar stuff like this where they put a placeholder, and then they just kind of show you what it is afterwards. So the kingdoms in this KV Kelly are 20, two Imperiums. Nice, which is much nicer in a way for me because it's going to be a lot better fighting and KVK and overall KVK because two Imperiums and two non-Imperiums means, you know, a pretty fair fight because it's going to be us and I believe it's, I'm not for sure which, we're, we are paired with one of the Imperiums, but let me see what they said was going to be our allies. So this is the Kingdom Mail from Ghost of the God. We are allies with 1647 Wind Camp. We are water camp, so we're going to be fighting against fire camp above us. And then our allies in wind camp are going to be going up and fighting earth camp to start off with when pass 4 opens for Heroic Anthem, because that is the KVK format that we have registered for. Not the special type of format, just your regular old Heroic Anthem. But I think that this KVK is going to be pretty good, because all these kingdoms that are in here are either highly undefeated, basically they haven't lost a KVK, have lost very few KVKs, or they have a lot of stars, so you guys can go ahead and check out some of these kingdoms. But like, I know that like 2170 and a couple of them have multiple stars on their alliance, things like that. So this is going to be a pretty big KVK for us. And just migrating into 2293, I know that this kingdom is really well off on fighting and showing up and being high on activity. So I'm excited to see how this is going to go. I have kind of fixed some of my problems with my live streaming. And they have said that they think that the approximate time for... Past, is it past five? I think it's past four, not past five. I think they may have had that a little bit messed up on passes, but maybe it could be me that's just being, I don't remember which pass is open because I've just been through Strife of the Eight, which is a little bit differently. But I think they're saying on like August 17th, around 15 to 20 UTC, depending on when the forts are dropped, we're going to go ahead and have the pass open. I will try to live stream when I'm off work at like 20 UTC. So even if it's at like 16, 17, or 18 UTC, if the pass opens, I'll probably start fighting, you know, before I get back here and get on the live stream at like 21 UTC, 2030, something like that. So it'll be, the fighting will have started, but it takes like over, you know, three or four hours before the forts are even built, before really any of the flags are going to connect to like the real fighting starts. So I won't really be able to probably stream the very beginning of the fight, but I will try to stream the middle of the fight and onwards until I have to basically go to sleep for work the next day. But I have fixed some of my streaming issues. I'd actually plan to stream today just to try and test it out on a real live stream because I kind of fixed out what was wrong with my microphone. Basically, the wrong cord cable was bad and it fixed it as far as I know. I'm going to have to do some more testing before this pass opening to make sure it's going to work. But also in a month, like I was saying, I get my apartment. They're going to finish it up around the beginning of September. So when that's fully fleshed out, I plan to get a PC. Things will be a little bit more smooth when I can get that stuff lined out because right now I'm staying at my business place, so it's not as nice to stream on because I have to stream on my laptop and all that kind of jazz. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video because we'll bring you some more KVK content, hopefully in some streams pretty soon within the next month for sure because I will have a PC hopefully within the next month, month and a half so that we can stream to you some of these big KVKs. I'd hoped to plan to stream the you know 1960 KVK. Well, 
I've had some issues, as you guys have known from the last couple of videos. So drop a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next one.